Hey guys, Matt here. First of all, the purpose of this video is twofold. First, to show you the adjustability of the ECS tuning coilovers that we installed in the previous video. And second, to provide some initial thoughts about these coilovers. If you missed the installation video, I will link that up in the information card, so go check that out if you're interested. If you did catch that last video, you're already aware that we've completely slammed this Jetta. This is as low as you can get these coilovers while maintaining an even wheel gap, or lack thereof. I say this because the rears could still be lowered an additional inch or so, but then the rear would be lower than the front, and it would pitch the car up, and it would just look like you had a full rear seat. As much fun as I've had with slammed cars, that's not really what I'm going for with this vehicle. I'd like the vehicle to be reasonably drivable without too much concern for driveways, speed bumps, etc. So today we are raising these coilovers to their maximum height, which by the way is still much lower than stock height. But this should give you a very good idea of the height ranges of these coilovers. First all the way slammed, then all the way maxed out. So we are gonna start in the rear, and the reason for this is because we wanna set the rear one time and not have to go back in and adjust it. And that's because the adjustability in the rears are much less accessible than in the front. In the front, we can do lots of minor tweaks and match the rears, but in the rears, we have to pretty much disassemble the entire rear suspension as I showed you in the installation video. Using a floor jack to support the lower control arm, we'll be able to remove the hub bolt then lower the control arm. We'll remove the spring and then remove the threaded perch that we bolted onto the control arm. And at this point, we can unlock this perch and spin it up to raise the ride height to maximum height. So now on to the fronts. The fronts are much, much easier. It can be adjusted by unlocking the threaded collar, then spinning the perch all the way up. So raising this perch just increases the overall length of the coilover and therefore increases the ride height. And when the perch is in the desired position, we'll lock that in place with the collar. And now it's just trial and error, making minor adjustments and measuring between the fronts and the rears, adjusting the fronts to match the rears now that we've got the rear 
suspension all buttoned up. While we're doing that, I'd like to talk about my first impressions of this suspension. First of all, compared to the stock suspension that had multiple broken springs, actually all four of them were broken, and very tired dampers, this setup feels super solid. Solid as in there's no clunks, there's no rattles, and you can really, really feel the road. This is great for handling, but it is very stiff for a daily driver, especially on Wisconsin roads. However, if you are willing to sacrifice some daily driving comfort, the ECS tuning coilovers are a great option to stiffen and lower your vehicle without breaking the bank. And if you've been around for a while, you know that I do have a partnership with ECS tuning, and I'm telling you this because I want you to be able to consider the source. However, I really do believe that these coilovers provide great performance for the price. They are a great value. However, would I put them on my Golf R? Probably not. Not that they wouldn't perform well, but I'd like more adjustability for the Golf. I'd want the ability to adjust the damping rate, to match the spring rate for a given ride height, but for the Jetta, I am really pleased. Overall, the installation was moderately difficult, and the performance is great for a $500 suspension refresh. As always, I have linked the parts in the description below, and if you use those links, then purchase something from ECS Tuning, I get a small kickback, which really helps keep this channel going. And if you've been around for a while, you know that the frequency of my posts has decreased drastically. And that is due to the fact that over the last year, I have been in the process of applying for grad school, as well as becoming board certified as a professional engineer. But I do have many videos in the works, so I'm going to try to post more frequently. And with that said, there's only one more thing to do. Thanks for watching. Did you guys feel that VTEC? You want to go drive it around for a second? Or? Sure. Alright. Let's go around some corners fast. Hold on, I got my steep bill tone. Just come out over by the middle school. You just do a U right here. Good call. 